why it's still of the week. And um, what I want to focus on is why instead of value. Um, Hey everybody, this is Jay Tom Gunter, owner of Grapes and Sand Publishing and author of Fruit and Glass and also Wines Cliff Notes. So as you can see, there's wine in my glass, so it's going to be a little bit of a review today. Um, welcome to another rendition of um, Wine Stills of the Week. Um, and the reason I did Wine Stills of the Week, just to be honest with you, is because um, I remember being in college and trying to get into wine a little bit further and I realized I couldn't afford a lot of stuff, so I started going to certain places to figure out you know, uh, if I had the if I had the palate for certain types of wine, so I would try different varietals from Trader Joe's, Grocery Outlet. Uh, actually, at the time, it wasn't Grocery Outlet, but Trader Joe's, BevMo, things of that nature, and I would just try to find reasonably pri priced worldly wines to try to, you know, enhance my palate and understand things like, you know, um, uh, Sagrantino or uh, things like, um, um, let me see, um, Salento, Salento, uh, which is um, Negromaro um, out of southern Italy, or uh, Nero de Avila, things of that nature. I was trying to figure out what's going on uh, with Bordeaux and, um, and um, you know, uh, Chenin Blanc from Loire Valley and Rhone varietals, things of that nature. I wanted, to, I wanted to expand my palate, but I didn't have the money to do it, so um, that's why I started this. I wanted to be able to go shopping, find some reasonably priced wines that I think that people would love, more universal love, and, um, you know, portray that to you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying this, and um, if you know someone who's trying to get into wine but doesn't um, know a lot about wine but wants to expand their palate, please refer them to this to this uh, podcast or vlog or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know the name of it. I'm just videoing myself drinking wine because I love wine. So anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, what we have today is... Out of Grocery Outlet, um, they had, they uh, have just stopped a big sale. Uh, it's already passed, but they had um, they have a couple of really interesting wines going on, and this one is out of Alexander Valley, Sonoma County, 2018. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon, Gabriel Ashley, right? And so the interesting about the interesting thing about this is a lot of times what people will do is they will source the grapes from a specific area and then they will bottle it. And, and make it somewhere else, um, but it does still allows for them to put the the name of where it comes from, Alexander Valley, on the label. So that's what you have here. Um, and um, yeah, let's get right into it. It was only eight dollars at grocery outlet, seven ninety nine, eight dollars at grocery outlet uh, for something that's like kind of right next to Napa. And to be honest with you, I kind of I tend to like uh, Sonoma a little bit more, but that's just me. Uh, all around, like not as far as like specific wines, because there are some Napa wines that blow everything out of the water. But um, as as a whole, I love Sonoma wine. So let's get into it. I'm not gonna get into the side, but let's get into the nose on this one. So I get blackberry, I get cassis. There's a little bit of vanilla going on, so it's probably it's probably set in uh, oak for a, a quite a quite a long time. I would say probably 18 months, in my opinion. But I don't know. I, I haven't read up on this. I just want to kind of do this off the cuff. So let's go ahead and smell a little bit more. There's also like a deep blueberry and some green herbs going on. Let's go ahead and taste it. Everything you would expect from Alexander Valley fruit. Great, great um, purity throughout the palate. Big up front. Uh, great structure on the palate on the on the outside. The or, or at least on the teeth. There's great tannin structure. These are firm tannins. These are not going anywhere. This is a young wine, and that's why I have it in a decanter. Um, this needs to be decanted. I'm being honest with you. This is 2018. It's Sonoma Fruit, Alexander Valley specifically. And um, 
although it's tasting amazing, I've been sit, I've, I've had it decanted for like the last hour, to be honest with you, because I just think it needed it. Um, but it's starting to finally start to sing a little bit. Um, again, cassis throughout the palate. There's like a little chocolate note on the finish, which I dig quite a bit. There's some herbal notes in the mid palate. Um, but this is beautiful. This is um, elegant, and for eight dollars, this is a still. I can't believe they're selling this over at Grocery Outlet. If I don't, it's not at all grocery outlets again. You have to go find the one that has this. But you have to check this out. This is uh, Gabrielle Ashley, two thousand and eighteen. So it means it's really young. Um, at a, uh, a Cabernet Sauvignon, at Alexander Valley, Sonoma County. Mm. That's delicious. It really is like that. Um. Yo, it's just nice. It has a decent amount of acid, too. So the wa the mouth is watering, but it's not over-the-top acid. Of course, this is a wine that you want to sit on and meditate on and write sonnets about, <laughs> in my opinion. It's a, it's a poetry-type wine. It's a beautiful wine, and I recommend you go in and check it out. There's a little bacon spice going on there, too. And that green note is there, too. Anyway, go check it out. I recommend it. It's an amazing wine. And uh, until next time, to the next wine still of the week, cheers, guys.